Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. I'm James. I'm joined with Andrew today. We're going to talk a video game. We rarely talk video games, but we are going to talk video games because um, Andrew's a big video game fan. He's playing a video game right now. He doesn't even know it. But my favorite video game of all time is the Super Mario Brothers. Uh, all of them. I play them all. I live for them. This is what I do. I just play Mario Brothers and I beat them and I feel very proud of myself. And then I play a big boy game. And I, I, I can't even, I usually have to get my wife to, I can't do it, but Andrew's big on games. But one of the games that you love is, 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 uh, the legend of Zelda. That's a series that you love. I love it as well. I got the game of watch. I love it. Whatever. Game yeah, watch. there you go. <laughs> That's where I, I think game boys where I stopped playing, but breath of the wild, big game. People love breath of the wild. It was kind of the game that kind of kicked off. Um, it kind of ended the Wii U and kicked off the switch all at the same time. And and everyone has been waiting for five years now for a sequel to Breath of the Wild. They announced it was going to happen, I think, like 20 years ago. They said, we're going to do Breath of the Wild 2. And now it's just uh, recently has been delayed until 2023. But you have a theory as to why. Yes, I do. By the way, do you ever answer your phone by saying, it's a me, James? Definitely not. Okay. Well, <laughs> we, we got to work on that, my friend. That's got to become a pattern now. Um, I, yeah, I've been hotly anticipating this Zelda game as I'm sure a lot of people have because Breath of the Wild was gorgeous. That is a gorgeous game. And then they're like, oh yeah, you're getting one this year. I'm excited. Everybody's excited. And all of a sudden with no explanation at all, actually you're getting it next year. Sorry. And then that's it. So when pressed for explanation, Nintendo just offered kind of the sound of crickets as an answer. But here's my theory, and I kind of hope it's true because it would be good news for everybody, right? What's coming up in June, James? E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo where they announce games and do it's basically like the big, hey, look what's coming out. Hey, look what's still not out yet, etc. It's that for games. Uh, and conversely, guess what's coming out six months after that in December? The Mario movie. Can't wait. The Mario movie, we're finally getting uh, uh, another Mario movie that uh, is apparently going to be much more Mario than the last Mario movie. Now, it has been, yeah, yeah, it's a blast, according to the I box. love this, I love this Mario movie. John Leguizamo, perfect. I wish he was in the new movie. I wish I he wish, was too, man. I, would, I think that is, I honestly, look, Andrew, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I am looking forward to the new Mario movie. But I think it is like he is like one of the only living cast members of this film lap. I think it is a sin that he is not a part of this. Like an absolute sin yeah. that he does not. He better have a damn cameo in it. Like they better throw him in without our notes. I do appreciate that they have. I can't remember his name. Is it Charlie who does the voice of Mario since uh, Super Mario 64? I appreciate that he's in it doing various voices. I understand why he's not the voice of Mario and I have nothing against that. But John Leguizamo, like he has to live with this every day. I know. You, like, and we live in a world where they just gave Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, you know, Michael Keaton. Like we live in a forgiving world now where you bring them back. I think anyway, that's my beef is like was Ammo needs some love. He should be in this Mario movie as a cameo in some capacity. What a beautiful world it would have been if he had been playing Mario. Just like to honor, like he's like, I'm going to honor Bob's memory and I'm going to play Mario. Um, it just, uh, but and, anyway, um, <laughs> It has been, I, I don't know what came out first, Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey, but they have both been way too long ago, is the moral of the story here. Yeah. It's been too long since the last Zelda, and it's been too long since the last Mario. So my theory is this. Your initial plan is we release a Zelda game this holiday, but oh, there's a Mario movie coming out this holiday. So what if, James, Nintendo decided we've been working on this next Mario game, let's delay Zelda a bit and fast track this Mario game. So we have, you know, cross pollination. We, we advertise the right way, which is multimedia style. We have the Mario movie and oh, what's this? A Mario game. And the kids get one and they want the other. It's like, you can't make it any simpler than that. So I think James, because of this motion picture from Illumination Studios, we are getting a new Mario game in December. Why am I wrong? Oh my God, you're so wrong. I look, I absolutely would love 
that because like i said i'm a huge mario game i have the, the zelda game watch but i also have the mario one i play mario brothers all the time i have my switch and to be honest i go on my switch and i usually go on my catalogs and i play older uh, mario games i have i play more mario games on wii u because there are more and i think this is the problem nintendo nintendo has the most loyal fans of almost any company ever people just will not back away like nintendo should have gone out of business like 10 years like they i mean i know the wii saved them but then the wii u crippled and i think the wii u was great the wii u crippled them and now the switch everyone loves the switch we talked about this off a few weeks ago like off camera but we're like the switch should be their best it probably is their best but it should be their best the problem is they're relying on old like they're relying on wii u games to kind of for their bread and butter of super mario brother and and not so much zelda but even zelda breath of the wild was on both they're really relying on that. They haven't given us much new stuff. They're like Splatoon 12. Like, I don't really care about Splatoon. There hasn't been a whole ton. We got Luigi's Mansion 3. Sure. But the problem is they just they they don't need to make a new Mario game because for some reason everyone's content with another add-on to Mario Kart. Like Mario Kart 8, they're bragging is the highest grossing Mario Kart game of all time. Yeah. It's put on seven consoles and there's an add on to like every day I have to buy a new version of like it. It's frustrating to me that they're doing that, though. They don't need to because they have the most loyal fans. So they keep doing it over and over again. It's ridiculous. I think you know Mario Kart 8 was great. I love Mario Kart 8. I'm not saying it's not, but I played it. I had it on the Wii U. I got the expansion pack on the Wii U. Now I ended up getting it again on the Switch just because. And I'm like, God damn it, this is the same game. Like, there's nothing new. I think there's an extra Splatoon character from the Wii. Like, and I again, I don't care about Splatoon. That's not me. That's out of my and I and that look, I'm not arguing that it's my, not my demographic, whatever. I'm old, I get it. But they don't need to do it. And they're doing Breath of the Wild, they're taking their time, which I hope means it's going to be better. But I just don't think they care about making another Super Mario Brother game, even though honestly, all they have to do is like is is rebrand mario like 3d world or mario brothers deluxe i can't see mario brothers deluxe costing a lot of money for them to make re like repaint those levels and sell it again and and you know we will play it and we'll buy it i just don't think they're going to do it because i don't think they need to do it and we talked about this again it's been out for five years that's five years for this console five or six years for the for the nintendo switch console it's ending like its run will end before we get before they announce anything like it's coming to a close almost and the switch pro switch to i mean they have the switch oled i guess but something you know like the switch dolphin is gonna come and we're all gonna have to move away from it and that's what's really frustrating me and i i think though to your point i think it would be good for them to do the mario brother game especially to coincide with the movie and all that but also have some good faith with the co consumers that were buying stuff, knowing that, hey, just because you buy this Mario Odyssey is here, you know, at least we got Mario Galaxy 2. But this is reminding me too much of the N64, which they were like, no, we're good. We're good. We got you a Mario 64 and we got you one Zelda game. You're good. You're good. Goodbye. Play this crappy Bomberman game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's where, I mean, we got more than one Zelda game for that. I, so it's the parallels between this one and the Switch, and the the parallels between the Switch and the N64 are a little too much. And the N64 is fine, but it didn't have, for me, the greatest library. Goldeneye! I know Goldeneye! I get it. Um, well, the thing that could tip the, the balance here and, and towards me being wrong the most is just the fact, like you said, James, Nintendo, it's a miracle that they are still in business, let alone as successful as they greatest, are. Greatest consumers of all time. It's a miracle. Because they, they're they like the opposite of Kevin Feige. Uh, they listen to what the fans want. The fans are like, here is what we want. Here is X. We want X. And Nintendo's like, okay, here's Y. But that is every time. Every time. It's like everybody could be crying out, Nintendo, please make Metroid 4. All right. Here's Animal Crossing. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. And they just, they do not care. They do not care about what the fans want. They, they don't have to. Go on and make, you're right, they don't. And they make quality stuff when they put out their flagship stuff. Like they're they're not messing around over there. So it's, it's a weird system that they have going on there. And I'm flabbergasted that it's lasted this long without them listening. They just do not listen to fans at all. Um, so I, I feel like as a business, 
regardless of how wacky their business structure is, if you know you have this movie coming out and you don't try to capitalize on it with some kind of gaming thing that's adjacent, like, what are you doing at this point? What are you doing as a company? So uh, the, the fact that this announcement of Zelda getting delayed came out when it did, and E3 is slowly but surely creeping up, it's like a month and a half away, less than that. I feel like that's a perfect time, as perfect time as they're going to get to say, hey, you got this Mario movie coming out in six months. Well, guess what? We're announcing this game to go with it. Because Nintendo does that a lot. Nintendo will, yes, they announced Zelda a long time ago, but Nintendo is also really, really sneaky in regards to they'll be like, here's this Kirby game we've been making. Isn't this great? It is out and now. And like, you're just finding out about it. And it's like, you can go online yeah. now and buy it. So it's not outside the realm of possibility for them to be have this hidden game that they've been working on and then say, well, in six months' time, I know you've never heard of it before, but get ready for Super Mario Moonshine. And it's like sunshine, but everybody's a vampire. I, I don't know. Uh, I, look, I'm in for it. I just don't think it's going to happen. And I'm sorry that you don't feel that way. <laughs> I Nobody wants another Mario game more than I do. Uh, when my wife was in the hospital for a week and I stayed there, all I played was my, I had my switch with me while she was knocked out on, on, you know, and, and I just had my switch and you know what I played on the switch, the NES and SNES virtual console. That's what I mostly, play. I had Odyssey, but also, you know, sometimes in different environments, you can't really focus on what you need to focus on. Those, So I'm all in for more of it. Um, I also got Sonic Team Racing that uh, <laughs> for that time. We'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Are we going to get a Mario game to coincide with the release of the Super Mario Brother movie coming this December? I can't wait uh, to find out the answer because if Andrew's wrong, he owes me a Big Mac. Tell you what, I will buy you a copy of Side Scroller and then you can pay me back for it. <laughs> I have uh, a copy. Yes, you do. That's right. Uh, and if uh, if anybody out there, I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably a Mario fan and probably a game fan. So if you like that kind of stuff, my book Side Scroller is full of that kind of stuff. There's Easter eggs to all kinds of gaming things. It is a, a, a video game. Uh, it's not about video games, but it's it runs on video game logic. Uh, so you can buy a copy of my book Side Scroller right now on Amazon, and you can get the ebook if you don't like carrying bricks of paper around with you. But if you're a game fan, which I hope you are, if you clicked on this video, do yourself a favor. Trust me. It's Brag actually, about it. yeah, actually, I absolutely, I, I, I endorse what he just said. Pick up Side Scroll on Amazon right now. Check him out on YouTube, Andrew Fantasia's YouTube channel, youtubecom Fantasia. And once again, let us know in the comments down below. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yahoo!